there, curious minds? Welcome to our journey into the world of map. Today, we're diving into something really cool, the unit circle. With the help of this unit circle, we will help you visualize and understand many trigonometric concepts and identities. So, let's dive in. Let us first understand what is a unit circle. Let these be our x and y axis. Now draw a circle with its center at O and a radius of one unit. We call the circle a unit circle. The unit circle is like a clock but instead of hours it has got angles all around from 0 degrees all the way to 360 degrees. Now, let's imagine a point on the unit circle. This point has its own coordinates that tell us where it is on the circle. The coordinates consist of two parts, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x-coordinate tells us the point's position left or right and the y-coordinates tells us its position up or down. As the point moves along the circle, its coordinates change, reflecting its position on the unit circle. Now, let us draw a triangle OAB such that the hypotenuse of the triangle is the radius of the unit circle. The triangle meets the unit circle circumference at point B. In this triangle, OB is the hypotenuse, OA is the adjacent side and AB is the opposite side. Let the coordinates of point B be X, Y. Here, X and Y are the lengths of the legs of a right triangle. The length of the hypotenuse R is 1. Thus, by the Pythagorean theorem, X and Y satisfy the equation. X square plus Y square is equal to 1. This triangle is our guide to exploring angles and learning about the superpowers of trigonometry. Let theta be the angle that the radius of the unit circle makes with the positive x-axis. Here is where it gets exciting. In this triangle, sine is equal to the y-coordinate of our point and cos is equal to the x-coordinate. Let us see how. In the case of a unit circle, for any set of x and y coordinates, the hypotenuse is equal to 1. That is, r is equal to 1. We already know that the cosine function of angle theta is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse or x upon r since r is equal to 1. Cos theta is equal to x upon 1 or cos theta is equal to x. Similarly, sin theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse or y upon r since r is equal to 1. Sin theta is equal to y upon 1 or sin theta is equal to y. Now, draw a line tangent to the unit circle where the hypotenuse touches the unit circle. Extend this tangent line to the x-axis. Let this point be C. The distance of this line segment from its tangent point on the unit circle to the x-axis, that is BC, is the tangent or tan theta. 
let me highlight once again that this length x is cos, this length y is sine and this length is tan. When our triangle moves around the circle, the angle theta and the length of the sides changes. When it moves towards right, the x side gets longer, the y sides gets shorter and the tangent also gets shorter. That means when the theta decreases, cos theta increases and sin theta and tan theta decreases. When it moves to the left, the x side gets shorter, the y side gets longer and the tangent also gets longer. That means when the theta increases, cos theta decreases and sin theta and tan theta increases. Please note that in both the cases, the radius remains constant. Let us now see the values of these trigonometric functions for some specific angles. Let's start with 0 degrees, right at the positive x-axis. The point on the circle is 1, 0. This means the x-coordinate is 1 and the y-coordinate is 0. Thus, sine of 0 degrees is 0 and cosine of 0 degrees is 1. Now, move to 45 degrees. The point is root 2 by 2, comma, root 2 by 2. That's because both the x and y coordinates are the same and they are both root 2 by 2. Thus, sine of 45 degrees is root 2 by 2 and cosine of 45 degrees is also root 2 by 2. Who's up for 90 degrees? The point is 0, 1. Here, the x-coordinate is 0 and the y-coordinate is 1. Thus, sine of 90 degrees is 1 and cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Let us now prove the most fundamental trigonometric identity by applying the Pythagoras theorem in a unit circle. The Pythagorean identity, which states that the square of the sine of an angle plus the square of the cosine of the same angle is always equal to 1, can be easily explained and proven using the unit circle. Let us see how. In triangle OAB, by Pythagoras theorem, x square plus y square is equal to 1. As sine theta is equal to y and cos theta is equal to x, we can say sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, in a nutshell, the unit circle is like our math playground with points, lines and secret codes. It's a map to amazing math adventures. Thanks for joining us on this math journey. Keep exploring, keep asking questions and remember, math is your compass to a world full of wonder.